Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject power system analysis based on the KTU syllabus and we are on module 3 and today we are going to discuss about the bus impedance matrix, the basics of the bus impedance matrix, how we can uh, create a bus impedance matrix from and reactance diagram and all. Okay. So uh, we have already familiar with the bus admittance matrix. Okay, that's with the equation of the bus admittance matrix. The current and voltage is the y bus into v is equal to i. Okay, and if you are pre-multiplying the equation with the y bus inverse, we will get v is equal to y bus inverse into i. Okay, so here uh, the elements of y bus inverse. Okay, will be the impedances. Okay, already the y bus is an admittance matrix. So the y bus inverse the elements of the y bus inverse will be the impedances so this y bus inverse we can call it as the impedance matrix and it is denoted as z bus okay z bus so z bus will be equal to y bus inverse and uh, we can write v is equal to z bus into i so here the like the admittance matrix the bus impedance matrix is also symmetrical around the principal real diagonal okay so uh, the bus impedance matrix can be determined by two methods okay we can use two different methods for determining the bus impedance matrix so in one method uh, we can form the admittance matrix and then take it inverse to get the bus impedance matrix as we have already uh, seen here okay by taking the inverse of the bus admittance matrix we can find the bus impedance matrix okay in another method the bus impedance matrix can be directly formed from the reactance diagram and this method requires the knowledge of the modifications of existing bus impedance matrix due to addition of new bus or addition of a new line between existing buses okay so uh, that you will uh, see later in the video okay how what are the different modifications uh, happening there okay so the modification of an existing bus impedance matrix are mainly okay so let us denote the uh, original Z bus of the system with n number of independent buses as Z original. Okay, here we will denote the uh, original. Okay, actual Z bus as Z original. Okay. So in to the Z original, we are adding the branch impedance Z B. Okay. So that can be added in four cases. Okay with four cases case one is adding a branch of impedance zb from a new bus b to the reference bus adding a branch of impedance zb from a new bus b to existing bus q okay likewise three and four okay total four cases are there so we will uh, going to uh, discuss each and every case okay so first we are taking the case one case one adding zb from a new bus b to the reference bus okay so here is the picture representation of that that is uh, this is an already uh, we are having an bus system so uh, from a new bus p we are adding an impedance z b to the reference bus okay of the existing bus okay of the ex existing system okay so the addition of a bus okay addition of a new bus will increase the order of the bus impedance matrix by one okay so if the uh, already we are having an n bus system okay that is if you are having a z bus as a 2 by 2 matrix if you are ha adding a new bus then the z bus will become 3 by 3 okay it will become 3 by 3 so that uh, the order of the uh, matrix will increase by 1 okay so in this case the elements of n plus 1 okay so here the z bus new um, it is visualized here so this part is the actual original uh, impedance matrix okay uh, that is original impedance matrix we are writing here okay so uh, if you are adding a new bus additional one row and one column will be there that is the order of the entire matrix will increase by one okay so in this case the elements of n plus one row and n plus one to column okay so the n n plus one to column and row are are all zeros except the diagonal okay the diagonal element is the added branch impedance is at b so here if we are adding an impedance of j 0 0.2 here okay so all these elements will be zero and instead of zb we will write 0 0.2 j 0 0.2 okay so um, the elements of original z bus that is z original is not altered here we have added a new row and new column according to the new bus okay this is the case one and case two adding zb from a new bus p to existing bus q 
ओके एडिंग इज एट बी फ्रॉम ए न्यू बस पी टू एक्सिस्टिंग बस क्यू ओके दैट इज दिस इज द एक्सिस्टिंग बस क्यू इन द सिस्टम सो इफ यू आर एडिंग ए न्यू बस पी ओके न्यू बस पी थ्रू एन इम्पोर्टेंट इज एट बी वाट विल हैपन ओके सो एडिशन ऑफ ए बस विल इंक्रीज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द बस इम्पोर्टेंस मेट्रिक्स बाय वन ओके एडिशन ऑफ ए बस दैट वी नो ओके सो हियर वी आर एडिंग ए न्यू बस पी सो दफकोर्स द ऑर्डर ऑफ द बस इम्पोर्टेंस मेट्रिक्स विल इंक्रीज बाय वन ओके सो इन दिस केस द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एन प्लस वन कॉलम आर द आर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ क्यू थ कॉलम ओके क्यू थ कॉलम एंड एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एन प्लस वन थ्रो आर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ क्यू थ्रो ओके दैट इज वी आर हैविंग बस ओके एफ यू आर हैविंग इज एट ओरिजिनल हियर ओके एंड द बस पी इज कनेक्ट टू बस क्यू ओके सो द इज एट बी इज कनेक्टेड टू द बस क्यू ओके सो हियर द एन प्लस वन कॉलम आर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ क्यू थ कॉलम ओके क्यू थ कॉलम okay that is if the bus p is uh, connected to bus 2 okay bus 2 or bus 2 in the system so here it will become okay uh, the corresponding uh, elements of the that is second column okay second column elements will come here and uh, second row elements will come here okay and the diagonal element is given by the sum of z q q plus z b okay so the elements of original is at bus matrix are not altered here this is not altered we are just adding the new elements okay we are adding the new elements okay that is if we are having a 3 uh, by 3 matrix here okay 3 by 3 matrix here then uh, if you are connecting that is at b to the uh, second okay to the second bus okay so here we have to write the second column elements here and uh, the second row elements here okay and the diagonal element will be is at qq okay the, the diagonal element is at qq plus is at b okay so it will be more clear if we uh, discuss a problem based on that and the case 3 case 3 is adding is at b from an existing bus q to the reference bus existing bus q to the reference bus that is here we are not adding a new bus okay so the and their order of the system will not change here okay will not change here okay that is the main point okay so here uh, let us consider as if the uh, impedance is at b connected from a new bus p and existing bus q that is we have already discussed in the previous that is, that is from a new bus p to existing bus q that in that in that case case we know that uh, an uh, n plus 1 okay n plus 1 column and n plus 1 the row we have added here okay so uh, likewise okay by doing so after that uh, we are short circuiting the bus q okay bus q actually the bus q is not here uh, instead of bus sorry uh, here that is actually we are having that is the bus p is connected to the bus q condition we are considering that condition okay so uh, here we are assuming that the existing okay existing bus we are considering as p okay instead of the reference bus we are considering as q okay so after doing uh, this type of uh, uh, calculations and all we will short circuit the bus q to the corresponding reference bus okay bus q to the reference bus okay so this is equal to eliminating the n plus 1 the bus okay and so the bus impedance matrix has to be modified by eliminating n plus 1 throw and n plus 1 to column okay n plus 1 throw and n plus 1 to column okay so this if this is the case we will consider the case as we are connecting okay uh, is it b from a new bus p to the existing bus q new bus p to the existing bus q okay so here a new bus p okay we are considering a new bus p so the corresponding uh, a Uh, n plus one to column and plus one to row will be there. Okay, so after uh, considering that, uh, we are assuming that the existing bus, okay, the Q, okay, Q is short circuited to the reference bus. Okay, so at that time we have to eliminate the n plus one to row and n plus one to the column. Okay, so uh, we already learned how we can eliminate n n plus one to row and n plus one to column in the bus admittance matrix in the previous videos and all. Okay, so here likewise using the same equation, we can eliminate the n plus one to n row and n plus one to column of the bus impedance matrix. Okay, so this equation. So here is that J K actually is the impedance corresponding to row J and column K of actual new bus impedance matrix 
said JK is the corresponding element in the uh, old uh, bus impedance matrix. Okay, these all are the corresponding elements in the old bus impedance matrix. Okay. Okay, and the last case is uh, adding ZB between two existing buses H and Q. Okay, that is two existing buses H and, H and Q. So it should be okay. So here also uh, we know that uh, the impedance ZB. Okay, if you are considering the ZB, it is between the uh, two existing buses. So in this case, the bus impedance matrix is formed as shown in the figure. Okay, as like this. This is the original matrix. It is not altered. Okay, so here the elements of n plus one to column. N plus one to column is the difference between n plus one to column is the difference between the elements of column H and uh, column Q. Then the elements of n n plus one to row is the difference between the elements of row H and uh, row Q. Okay, so the diagonal element diagonal element is given by the equation this one. Okay, is it n plus one n plus one is a is it B plus is it H plus is it Q Q minus two is it H Q? Okay, so that is um, if you are connecting, suppose the uh, bus. Okay, bus. Uh, if you are having a four by four matrix. Okay, for example, four by four matrix. If bus H is the second bus and uh, bus Q is the third bus. Okay, bus Q is the third bus. Okay. So uh, we can form the new okay the n plus one to column n plus one to column has the difference between the elements of column H that is elements of column two okay or or column two of the two four by four matrix okay elements of column two minus the elements of column Q that is elements of column three. Okay, that is if we are having a four by four matrix, we have to for uh, finding the n plus one to column, we have to uh, different. Uh, okay, we have to find the difference between the elements of column two minus the elements of column three. Okay, thereby we will get the uh, corresponding elements here. Okay, likewise here elements of uh, row uh, two minus elements of row three. Okay, so the diagonal element can be found using this equation. Okay. And here also, since the modification does not involve any addition of the new bus, that is, this is the two both are the existing bus. We are not adding a new bus. So uh, the entire order of the uh, bus admin, sorry, bus impedance matrix will not increase. Okay. So here we have to eliminate this n plus one to column and n plus one to row. Okay. So that can be done using the equation already we have learned this equation is that jk actually is equal to is that jk minus is that jn plus 1 is that n plus 1 k by is that n plus 1 n plus 1 n plus 1 n plus 1 okay so using this equation uh, we can eliminate each and every element of n plus 1 to column and n plus 1 to row okay so if it if it if this is a 4 by if this is a 5 by 5 matrix using this equation and all we can reduce it to uh, a 4 by 4 matrix okay so likewise so uh, we have uh, learned four different cases of adding an impedance ZB. Okay, so that we have learned for the direct determination of a bus impedance matrix. Okay, that is if we have given a, re a reactance diagram or impedance diagram. Okay, instead of forming the Y bus matrix, we can directly okay determine the Z bus. Okay, Z bus. So the uh, for for that. We have to first consider an impedance Z A connected from bus one to the reference bus. Okay, connected. That is, if you are having a long, uh, a large reactance diagram. Okay, like that. That is. Okay. This bus two and uh, this. Uh, this is one reactance. This is second reactance. This is third reactance, and this is the. Here it is the reference bus. Okay, we are assuming that. Uh, so uh, here, first we have to consider an impedance Z day connected from bus one to the reference bus. So we are considering this as the reference bus. Okay, this as the reference bus here. We will clearly draw. Okay, so this one is the reference bus. Okay, so. Uh, First, we have to consider an impedance is a day. Okay, so if uh, this is the impedance of J zero point two, J zero point two. Okay, so uh, 
we are considering the bus 1 okay this is the bus 1 so bus 1 is connected to the reference bus through an impedance j0.2 okay so based on that we will write the first impedance matrix is said bus as uh, matrix j0.2 matrix j0.2 we are con only considering this element only okay so after that uh, we can add zb okay in different cases that is if you are this we have completed okay and uh, if you are considering uh, this case that is we have to add a uh, impedance zb from a new bus okay already we are having this bus one and reference bus also okay only so from new bus two to the existing bus one we are adding a impedance like that okay so from an uh, new bus to an existing bus queue that is the case of two that is case two we have discussed here adding any survey from a new bus to the existing bus queue so likewise we can modify the already uh, having the set bus to the new bus as like this okay so the uh, set bus set bus is modified okay based on the addition of the set b from a new bus two to the existing bus one okay so likewise we can add uh, any all other elements okay all other elements and uh, finally we will obtain the actual set bus okay so this is the uh, actual procedure to find the uh, set bus that is bus admittance sorry bus impedance matrix i hope all of you understand that well so thank you